The holographic properties of water are uh, something that has come as a result of my research across about 20 years of working in the field of cymatics. Uh, initially, I worked with sand on a membrane, on a latex membrane or, or um, a PVC membrane, but it, it became quickly evident that sand patterns on a membrane excited by sound were uh, very limiting. They were 2D, basically. So then I moved on to imaging sound in water, and uh, many of the images across many years seemed to have a kind of 3D quality. Uh, what we lacked was the means of capturing uh, the, what seemed to be depth in the water, uh, and we found, finally found a method of doing just that. And what we found as a result of that was that sonic um, compression of water causes areas within the water to refract light. And what this means is, in, in simple terms, it means that sound structures water in a kind of holographic way. Some people may say it's quasi-holographic, but it still has uh, the essence of uh, holography about it. So when you're seeing uh, some of these beautiful images that appear to be 3D, they actually are 3D. So you're not just looking at a pattern, say, on the surface of the water. You're looking at a structure under the water. And this has huge implications for medical science and for many other sciences.